Uh, okay. Thank uh, you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Valentin. I'm a software engineer at Google, and uh, I have been working on Apache Beam for uh, some time. And uh, today I'm going to talk about a recently added uh, feature to Apache Beam that uh, is called Resource Hints. So, as you very well know, uh, Beam is uh, a library that uh, allows you to express uh, data processing pipelines and uh, run them on various runners. And typically, the way it works is uh, you author the pipeline, and then when you uh, submit the pipeline uh, to the runner for the execution, Beam translates uh, your pipeline into some directly like a cyclic uh, graph of uh, collections and transforms and um, eventually submits it uh, to the runner for execution. So we'll take a little closer look to the translation part. Um, so part of the Beam portability framework uh, is the runner API and uh, the runner API defines a language neutral and a runner independent pipeline representation so that you can write the pipeline in any language and run it uh, on uh, any runner that uh, supports uh, the portable framework. And uh, so part of this representation uh, is the fact that uh, the transforms in the portable, uh, in the portable representation have environments assigned to them. And um, so the environment uh, has various different bits of information about uh, how the runners should uh, execute uh, these transforms, what, what is required from the runner. And uh, resource hints is uh, also one bit of information that can be included in these environments. And resource hints can provide suggestions for the runners about uh, what kind of resources uh, uh, are required to run this transform, to run the code, uh, to run the user code associated with this transform uh, on uh, in the execution environment when uh, the data processing is exec is being executed on the runner. So um, let's take a, an example. Uh, let's look at an example pipeline uh, where we have some. Uh, inputs data coming in and we have a few transforms uh, and um, if you don't uh, make uh, any uh, special modifications to uh, the environments your pipeline will have one default environment and all the transforms will be assigned to a default environment now we're gonna go and uh, add some resource hints to this pipeline. And um, the way I'm, I'm using an, a Python example, uh, the way we can add resource hints is we can uh, look at the transforms and say, OK, we want to instantiate these transforms with an additional modification where we set some resource hints, meaning that, for example, the, uh, the first uh, part do and needs to be executed in an environment that has at least uh, 20 gigabytes of RAM, for example, or the second transform needs an environment that has an accelerator. So right now we are talking about capabilities to express this uh, kind of resource requirements, or as we call them, resource hints in the SDK. And uh, this is how we can use a Beam SDK to express this kind of requirements or hints. Uh, I shouldn't say requirements because they are actually more like hints. And we'll go a little bit into detail about what that means. So, but um, the way it changes the portable representation of your pipeline is that now your transforms will have different environments assigned to them. And uh, in this case, you would still have a default environment for the transforms that uh, did not have resource hints. And you will have one environment that has uh, a hint that uh, this environment uh, should have uh, at least uh, 20 gigabytes of RAM and uh, 
another environment that says another environment that says it has an accelerator. <clears throat> so if we look into the uh, pipeline representation uh, protocol buffer that gets created when we uh, serialize the pip pipeline and uh, create the job graph and send it to the runner. The way it looks in this proto is that, well, there is uh, a collection of uh, transforms uh, in, in the proto and each transform has a particular environment ID assigned to it and uh, separately the environments are defined and uh, if an environment has resource hints, it will be reflected accordingly in the um, in, in, in the uh, in the protocol buffer messages that this particular transform needs to be executed in this particular environment and there are some details about it. So what are the usages for resource hints? Well, um, the idea behind the uh, agent support for resource hints was that users may want to indicate that some parts of their pipeline may need uh, specialized uh, hardware, such as, for example, GPUs or other accelerators, or uh, it also provides a way to um, give a hint about how much memory you need to run the transforms. And before, we did not have a capability to express this kind of requirements within the pipeline itself. And uh, that is what is enabled by resource hints from the uh, SDK standpoint, from the API standpoint. And uh, now if a pipeline is augmented by the hints, uh, the runners may make some different decisions about how to execute these pipelines. And of course it will depend on uh, the features of individual runners. And um, so some of the runners started to add support for resource hints. So, uh, one of such feature is, uh, example feature is uh, the right fitting capabilities uh, was Google Cloud Dataflow, which was uh, recently uh, announced. And um, let's talk a little bit about what what is the contract behind resource hints and uh, why are they called hints? So users can set the hints uh, in the pipeline, either on the parts of the pipeline, on some transforms, or on the entire pipeline, uh, for example, by specifying a pipeline option that would apply to uh, the entire, entire pipeline graph. And um, some of the uh, common hints may be defined uh, in Beam SDK itself, and uh, we currently defined uh, Two, uh, two resource hints. One is uh, to specify memory requirement and another to specify the accelerator. But um, it doesn't mean that this list is exhaustive. We anticipate that more hints will be added uh, down the road. Uh, and uh, it's also possible to assign a hint that is not predefined in the SDK and define the hint at runtime because Really, it's just a metadata of uh, some key value pair that is assigned to uh, transform and gets propagated into the uh, environment uh, that is also assigned uh, to the transform when it gets translated into a portable representation. And another important aspect is that the hints are the hints. So um, the exact interpretation of the hint will be uh, defined by the runners and some runners may not understand the hints and in this case runners should just simply ignore the hints. So if you have a pipeline with resource hints uh, you should be able to run it uh, on the runner that understands the hints and uh, do not understand the hints. Uh, for example maybe not all runners will be able to interpret the minimum uh, RAM requirements uh, on the um, on the transform, but uh, or or some runners may 
understand uh, one set of hints and uh, not understand the other set of hints. But uh, in general, the contract should be that um, the hints provide additional information, but uh, they uh, not necessarily, the runner does not necessarily need to understand all the hints to be able to run the pipeline. Uh, if it does, it may be able to execute it more efficiently. Uh, of course, if we are talking about uh, accelerators and your pipeline uh, needs an accelerator and uh, the runner does not know how to attach an accelerator, it may not uh, always, uh, such run may not always succeed, but or maybe it will succeed with uh, uh, an inferior performance. But um, the point here is that the hints are the hints that may improve the execution of your pipeline on the runner. And then the exact syntax of, uh, for example, if we talk about an accelerator hint, the exact syntax of uh, the accelerator hint is uh, also defined by runners that understand this hint. Um, but uh, Beam itself just provides the capability to express the hints. And uh, that's what we are focusing mostly on uh, on this in this talk and the exact behavior, uh, how um, the runners will interpret the hints will ultimately depend uh, on the runner. So, uh, for example, if you have uh, a transform that uh, requires additional memory or requires an accelerator the runner can still decide, uh, for example, whether this transform will be fused uh, together with some other transform that um, does not have the same requirements or has compatible requirements. Um, and the exact uh, execution details will be eventually determined uh, by the runner implementation. Okay, so, and then, how Beam community can help. Um, so now that we have these capabilities to express uh, resource hints, I think it would be good to hear from users uh, what kind of uh, hints uh, the runner maintainer should consider. And then for runners, uh, for runner maintainers, it would be nice to see a wider support for uh, resource hints. Uh, and uh, we are looking forward to having more resource hints eventually added uh, to the SDK. Um, and to learn more about resource hints, you can find out the documentation on the Apache Beam website. And I think that's that's it for me.